In this video, we're going to talk about how to convert from tons to kilograms and kilograms to tons. But before we do that, there are some things that we need to talk about. We need to talk about the difference between a U.S. ton and a metric ton. But let's talk about the U.S. ton first. So you need to know that one U.S. ton is equal to 907.2 kilograms. Now, one U.S. ton is also equal to 2,000 pounds. So those are some things you want to know. Next, let's talk about the metric ton. Because it's a different. One metric ton, which you'll see as T-O-N-N-E as opposed to T-O-N, one metric ton is equal to 1,000 kilograms. Notice how it's different than a U.S. ton. And one metric ton is also equal to 2,204.6 pounds. So when converting with, or when converting from tons to kilograms, you need to know if you're dealing with the U.S. ton or if you're dealing with a metric ton. So those are some things that you want to keep in mind. So let's work on some example problems. Let's say we have 3.76 tons and we want to convert that into kilograms. How can we do so? Start with what you're given, 3.76 tons over one. Now you need to identify the appropriate conversion factor. So this is the conversion factor that we want. Notice that we have the unit tons on the top part of the first fraction. We want the same unit to be on the bottom part of the second fraction. So this part of the conversion factor, we're going to put on the bottom. Now the other part of the conversion factor, we're going to place that on the top of the second fraction. So when we set it up this way, we can see that the unit tons will cancel. And the fact that this number is on the top of the second fraction means that we need to multiply that by 3.76. So 3.76 times 1,000 is 3,760. And so that's how we could convert from tons to kilograms. Now let's try an example converting kilograms to tons. So let's say we have 79 kilograms and we want to convert that to tons. Feel free to try this problem. So like before, we're going to start with what we're given, 79 kilograms, and we're going to put that over one. Now, since we have the unit kilograms on the top part of the first fraction, we want that same unit to be on the bottom part of the second fraction. So we're still using this conversion factor but we're going to put 1,000 kilograms on the bottom part of the second fraction. And one ton, we're going to put that on top of the second fraction. So the unit kilograms cancel, and this time 1,000 is on the bottom. So we're going to divide by 1,000 as opposed to multiplying by 1,000. So 79 divided by 1,000 is 0 0.079. So that's how we could convert from kilograms to tons. Try this one. Let's say if we have 5.24 US tons, not metric tons, how many kilograms is that? Go ahead and try that. So starting with what we're given, we're going to put that over 1. This time, we're using this particular conversion factor. So we have tons on the top left. We're going to put tons on the bottom right. So 1 ton, and then kilograms is going to go on the top part of the second fraction. So we have 907.2 kilograms. And so the unit tons cancel, and we're going to multiply the two numbers 
on the top of the first two fractions. So it's 5.24 times 907.2. And so the answer is going to be approximately 4,753.7 kilograms. Thus, that is how you can convert from tons to kilograms. For the sake of practice, you could try this. Convert 1,500 kilograms to tons. So just like before, start with the information that you were given. Using the same conversion factor, we can see that one ton is equivalent to 907.2 kilograms. So this time, we need to divide. So it's going to be 1,500 divided by 907.2. And that's going to equal 1.653 tons. And that is the answer for this problem. Thus, now you know how to convert from kilograms to tons and tons to kilograms regardless if it's a metric ton or a US ton. But let's work on a challenge problem. Let's say if you want to convert 46 US tons into metric tons. How would you do it? I recommend pausing the video and working out this problem. Take a minute to try it. Using the conversion factors that you see on the right, convert 46 tons into metric tons. Now, if you want a hint, if you don't want it, you can pause it and work on the problem. But if you want a hint, this is a double conversion process. You need to use two conversion factors instead of one. So let's begin. As always, we're going to start with what we're given. That is 46 tons over 1. Now, it's good to create a mental outline of what you want to do here because we don't have a direct conversion from tons to metric tons. Now, we could convert tons to kilograms and then kilograms back to tons. We could do that. Or we can convert tons to pounds and pounds to tons. So we've used kilograms already. Let's use pounds. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the U.S. ton, convert it into pounds, and then we're going to convert pounds into metric tons. Now, you can look up the direct conversion between tons and metric tons online if you want to, but we're just going to use what we have right now. Now we have to decide which conversion factor we're going to start with. We want to convert tons to pounds. Therefore, let's use this one. So I'm going to put this on the bottom, one ton. And I'm going to put 2,000 pounds on the top of the second fraction. The unit tons cancel, leaving us with the unit pounds. Now, to go back from pounds to metric tons, I need to use this conversion factor. So this part is going to go on the bottom, 2,204.6 pounds, and one ton will be placed on the top of the third fraction. As you can see, the unit pounds cancel, leaving behind the desired unit, which is the metric ton. That is what we want. So we're going to multiply by the numbers on the top and divide by the number on the bottom. So it's going to be 46 times 2,000 divided by 2,204.6. And you should get 41.73 metric tons. Therefore, now you know how to calculate, or rather convert, a U.S. ton into a metric ton. Now granted, that really wasn't part of the, the title of this video, but it's always good to try a challenge problem here and there.
So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you like it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks again for watching.